Good morning. We're gonna do some weights today. I hope you're ready. I'm gonna grab a pair of gloves. How about you? You got some workout gloves? You don't have to. Who's with me this morning? Anybody? Hi, good morning. Ooh, Shannon, you're such a good girl. My hair, what a wreck. All right, so you and I started Kyle yesterday too. By the time we got done, there was like 20 of us, so you are punctual, girl. All right, so we're gonna do a warm up, we're gonna do some weights, we're gonna work on some range of motion today, and I'm sure others will be joining us. <laughs> All right, so let's just bring the heel right to the glutes. <laughs> nice. Oh, I dug deep. I think I found some different music for us today. <laughs> All right, so let's bring the knee right up front. of a warm up and we're going to get right to work. Okay? <laughs> nice. Leave the feet. Let's reach across. <laughs> Make it a real big pivot. Is your booty cheek sore? Whoa. I think that pile like really got in <laughs> to my glutes. <laughs> I'm feeling them. Let's reach it up high. Whoop. Just get everything moving this morning. This is actually our warm up for our 15 minute burst. <laughs> kind of. We'll be ready to go, that's for sure. And then reach it out front. Whoop. Nice. Hey, hey, look at everybody that's here. Nice, give it a pull, bring the heel back. Awesome. Nice, four, three, two, and one. We're just gonna push the heel out front. I mentioned we're gonna work on range of motion today. And then take it to a toe tap out front. Just lift the heel way up. Go back to the heel, lift the toe, and move it in ways we haven't moved in a while. Go back to that toe. Nice. Four, three, two, one. Take the legs nice and wide. We're just going to shift our weight back and forth here. You can go right at your own pace. Take it as low as you can take it. A little stretch and a switch. All right. Let's go four more. Three, two, last one. Check it out. Okay, hold the wall if you need to. We're gonna do some hip openers. So we're gonna take the knee up, drop it, Turn it out and lift it out to the side. So you can start swinging really open here though. Really think about driving the knee open and back. So if you'd like to hold a wall, I want you to do that. Really opening the hip. And try not to have a lot of rotation here through the hips. So we're not opening, turning everything, just opening the chest. Four more. Nice. Three. Two. Stick with me. Last one. And let's switch sides. All right. Up and out. One side's easier, right? Really opening in that side position. Breathe it 
out. So do all. It's totally cool. Three more. Up and out. Two. Last one. All right, quick shake. We're gonna take it wide again. Inner thigh, stretch. side. All right, grab one light weight. All right, so you can even go two, three, fives at the most. Okay, here's where we're going to go. We're going to go one up front, one out to the side, and then we're going to take one out to the back. And I want you to really, without rotating your chest open, I want you to reach the arm back. We're going to do a lift here, okay? So it's kind of a weird movement. So grab a light weight, just one. We're going up and down in front, out to the side, and then give me one out back. All right? Weird, right? Yes. Out to the side, out to the back. Palm stays down whole time. And take this at your own pace. So if I'm going faster than you are, that's okay. Don't go any, don't go any faster than me though. <laughs> I'm going pretty quick. <laughs> Only shoulder height stopping. Let's do two more sets. Front side back. Nice side. Side, back side. All right, and then let's switch sides. Got rid of that shoulder, didn't it? Try not to rotate that chest around to the back. Leave the chest forward. Just send the arm to the back. Palm stays down the whole time here. Working way behind, increasing the range of motion in our rotator cuff. Nice. Getting there. Two more sets. Good. Nice and controlled. And last set here. All right, back. Side. Nice. And let's set that down. Let's take this arm. We're going to go circle. So pretend you're standing against the wall here. All right, and you're going all the way around the wall. So palm slides on the wall, rotates around. So the back of your hand is against the wall here. Really big arm circles, let's switch directions. Really working in your range of motion. So if you would like to see what this is supposed to look like, ask your kid to do this. Stand against the wall and make a circle around, switch directions. I know, we lose all kinds of stuff. One more. And let's switch directions. This should feel pretty good with your shoulder too. We just worked those. Two more. Last one. All right, other side. So pretend like this side is up against the wall. You're gonna run that hand up and around. Make that circle as big as you can without rotating. So we're not turning like this. It's okay if you can't get all the way back there. You're just working your range of motion. You're doing you. And let's switch directions. Right against that invisible wall, or if you have a real wall, even better. Nice. One more. We're switching directions again. shoulders this morning. Nice. 
Just one more. And switch again. Right, so I want you to either use weights or don't, it doesn't matter, but I want you to take your feet a little wider than hip width, and we're going to squat down. But I want you to come down as low as you can, okay? So, no weights is fine. If you can come all the way down, heels on the floor, go ahead and come all the way down, and then come up. All right, again, if you need to hold something, hold something. All right, I just want you to work your range of motion and then a little bit further than your typical range of motion. So we're not doing just regular squats. Okay, we're really working on range of motion all the way down, all the way up. You know what they call these in the gym? Booty to grass. But they don't use the word booty, right? So come down as low as you can. Heels stay on the floor. I've been working on my ankle mobility. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm, I'm extra proud of myself. <laughs> but I need these. I noticed that my squat depth wasn't what it should be because I didn't have that mobility anymore in my ankles. Let's do five or six more, your own pace, your own range of motion. Right? You counting your own five or six? Give me one or two more. All right, shake it out. How's that? Different, right? Good for you. Okay, so let's go to do a little bit of work work in here. work our back. All right, we're going to go single arm row. If you have a chair, put your hand on a chair so that our back is pretty parallel to the floor. We're going to grab a heavy weight. We're going to bring that weight up and back to the hip. This elbow is going to stay in without opening the chest. All right, we're going to go 10 here, really rotating the shoulder blade up and back. All right, so if you have a chair, grab that if you need that for stability. If not, you can go hand on the knee. All right, chest stays on the floor, so I stay on the floor too. Ready? Big pull and down nice and slow. All right, count out your 10. It's okay if you come up quick, especially if you have a heavier weight, but then lower slow. Lowering. Breathe it out. I think this is 10 for me. I'm going to do an extra in case. I'm going to switch sides. All right, hand on the chair, hand on the knee. Looking for a nice flat back, maybe parallel to the floor. Getting down there pretty good. Up to that hip. Exhale, breathe it out right there. All right, come up quick, that's okay. Come down slow. Leave your eyes right on the mat. Chest faces the knee, it doesn't open. Let's do two more. I'm somewhere in that range of 10. All right, we're gonna come back to those. But we're gonna combo them with a single leg deadlift. All right, so first option, both feet stay on the floor. We hinge and we lift. I want you to think about all the weight is in this front leg. All right, kick it out a little further, toe on the floor. Okay, or the back leg comes 
comes right up. If you want to add weights to this, single arm or double arm, you can go ahead and do that. Choose your place and let's do uh, 10 on each side. All right? So a single weight is going to make it a little more challenging because it's going to throw you off balance. But you do whatever works for you. Anywhere from here, both feet flat. That back foot a little further back with just the toe kissing the floor to all the way up, all the way down, really focusing right in on the hamstring and on the glute. If you've already done your 10, you can stop and take a stretch because I was talking quite a bit. And then switch to the other side, your style on the other side with the other leg. Okay, so feet flat, hinging, nice flat back, toe, or all the way up. Eyes on the floor will help you balance. Really think about pushing up through the heel, lift the toes, nice and slow, driving the heel into the mat or a floor, or a carpet, wherever you are today. Really tightening up the hamstring, tightening up the glute. If you've already done your 10, go ahead and take whatever stretch you want. And set the weight down when you're done. Okay. Hamstring stretch. This will feel good. This might feel good here. Do whatever works for you. Do both if you want. Okay. Good. We're going back to that row. Okay. So up your weight if you want, or if you can, if you're able to. If you don't have more a heavier weight, you can double your weights up. Okay, you just crisscross them and hold on to them there. I go from 25s to 40, so I'm not sure if that's gonna work for me. All right, so I go from 20s to 40s. Hand on the knee, give me 10 here. Okay, try this, see what happens. Back is a nice big muscle. Breathe it out. Give me ten. Nice. Go away to the other side. With me, hand on the knee, hand on the chair. <clears throat> okay? Whatever works for you. Let's go 10 here. Breathe it out there. Can you hear me breathing? Nice. Go for your 10. Here with me. There's nine. All right. How'd that work for you? Up your weight. Like I said, back is a nice big muscle. I just did 40. I'm no stronger than you. I just have bigger weights. All right. So we're going. Here's your back. Your back stretch is like bad posture, right? Tuck and push. You know what feels really good? If you're like in your basement and you have a, a beam and you can wrap your fingers around it like this and pull away, it feels great. Try it. Okay, single leg deadlift. We're gonna do right, left, 10 and 10. Choose your weight and choose your style. So again, both feet flat, working here. 
And maybe your hamstring's not that flexible. Maybe you're only going to your knee, that's okay. I want you to focus on driving up through the heel, squeezing the back of the leg and into the glute. Toe on the floor, next level, all the way up, all the way down, progressing. All right, so do your 10 and 10, go without me. I'm right behind you, I'm coming. All right, eyes are on the floor. Nothing to see here anyways. You already know what they look like. We're gonna really focus on this set, really on that muscle that we're working, like mind-body connection to the max here. And work in your range of motion, okay? I'm going to the floor, but if your hamstring is not that flexible, don't push your body into places that it doesn't belong, okay? Listen to your body all the time and what it's saying. Now your booty cheek should be talking to you. Might be screaming. You don't listen to that booty cheek though. I have no idea what number I'm on. I think that's about 10. Hopefully you guys are counting. Woo, good. I know, I'm hearing you. And if your booty cheek was already sore, I think from that pio, you're extra cursing me now, right? All right, 10 here, other leg. Focus, focus. Little Brazilian booty lift right here in Chitnango or wherever you are working out with me. Control this. Raise it up. I don't know what number I'm on, so I'm just going to do an extra one here. I think I was on 10 already, but I'm not sure. Evidently, I can't talk and count. <laughs> Let's stretch. Here, it's right in that hip, right in the booty cheek. I like this one. This one's good. That does the back of the leg. You're stretching. Whatever feels good to you this morning. Oh yeah, all right. Nice job. Should we do one more set? Yeah? All right. Okay, so one more set of rows. Making that V shape, making our waist look smaller. All right. We're gonna work some shoulders, some core. All right, 10 and 10 rows, right? We know what they look like. Hand on that front knee, nice flat back. Take it down to a chair or weight bench or anything that you have that's lower here so your back is lower. Okay, 10, let's do it. it out right up to that hip drive the elbow up to the ceiling stay with it here all right do your 10 and switch sides good still with me all right, I'm still with you. Let's go. Nice. Breathe it out. You finished with your 10. Go ahead and take a stretch. Perfect. All right, back stretch right here. Let that whole back open across the shoulders. Okay, so one more set of our single leg deadlifts. You guys 
I'm getting warm. Yeah, me too. Okay. 10 and 10. Choose your style. Maybe you want to up your weight. Up to you. All right. It doesn't matter which leg you start on. We're going to do both. All right. Focusing. Driving up through the heel. Really thinking about the hamstring, the back of the top of the leg, where it connects to your glutes. Squeezing the whole leg, breathing. Those oxygens need, the muscles need oxygen. All right, if you're done with your 10, go ahead and switch sides. If you're with me, I don't know, we're gonna do one more just in case. Okay, switching sides. Good. 10 and 10. Nice and easy. Drive up through the heel. Tightening the hamstring. Breathe it out. With your 10, your speed demon, go ahead and take your stretch. I'm going to do one more just in case I was counting wrong. All right. Booty cheek is on fire. Whew. Let's push it out here. Nice. And the other side. Heel up front, hands on this bent leg. Pull this toe up. Woo, yeah. And let's switch sides. All right. So we're gonna work our shoulders. I know we did little weights early, but we're gonna do some big weights this time. We're gonna work the tops of the shoulders and the sides of the shoulders. All right, so we're going to go overhead press. All right. Should we combo it with like a, a lunge? Usually we do squats. So here's your option. Go down. Power up. All right, so if you can take this squat real low, you take your squat as low as you want. If you just want to do like a medium squat, we're really focusing on our shoulders right now. So that's okay too. Let's go heavy for 10. If you don't wanna um, squat, let's lunge here, okay? Down and up, all right, give me 10. We'll obviously do two sets so we can come to the other side. So grab some heavy weights. I'm gonna go with 15s, maybe, can't find them. Okay, set yourself up, feet on tracks, back heels up, good form here. Back knee drops, push everything up. Driving up through that front heel. Breathe it out. Nice, bring that back knee down as low as you can. Squats are still good. So if you're not a lunger, if it's too much pressure on your knees, squat and do these. I think this is nine. And 10, all right. Set that down. We're gonna go right here. Okay, we're gonna have a little hinge so we can get the weights under. We're gonna lift and lower. So, lighten your weights, maybe a little, if you want real heavy on that at least. Try this. You can do 10 of them with what you just used. Keep them. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna do tens. See how it feels, we're gonna do two sets, so you can always make adjustments next time. Only shoulder height, little hinge. Okay, breathe it out, give me 10. Eight, nine, seven. Lower down, nice and slow. Four more, feel it working here. 
upper shoulder. Two. Last one. Let's do a little bonus right up front. We know it. It's a trick. Keep going. Bring it up. Give me five more. Lower down nice and slow. Four. Control it the whole way. The negative is where you work. Last one. All right. Set it down. Keep them close. <laughs> okay. We're going to do one more set of these. And we're going to hit the mat. Do some work down there. Okay. All right. So grab your drink if you need to. We're going to do lunges. Other leg in the front. Hopefully you remembered where you were. If you're following me, I did this one. Okay. However you manage that. Whether you mirrored me. Okay, I'm going to switch legs, back toe is going to stay up, we're going to drop that knee, grab your weights, I liked right where I was before, it seemed challenging, breathe it out, give me 10, feel free to do another set of squats with these, or you can just stay and overhead press, not even squat. So our focus is on the shoulders here. Nice. Three, two, last one. All right. Shake it out. Okay. Whew. Other side. Okay, hinge, here, okay, I'm going to go up a little bit, I'm going to do some 12s, I'm looking to make some shoulder gains on this quarantine, <laughs> ready, let's go for 10, power right up, a little bend in that elbow, yourself there. Woo. Okay. <laughs> Shake it all out. Let's head down to our mat. So take your stretches before you go. And uh, actually don't head to your mat. We're going to do standing core today. Okay. Here's where we're going. Grab weights if you'd like. We're going to go a nice wide stance. Did you already go to your mat and you're like, what? I'm already at my mat. <laughs> okay. We're going to sink. Okay. Inner thigh work. Open. Side to side. Now, I want you to keep your chest up. <clears throat> okay. So we're not folding front to get down there. We're crunching and we're crunching. We're working our obliques. They're the muscles that pull our waist in. You have to work them right. In order for them to actually be engaged, you have to have good form. So your chest is up. It doesn't matter where you're reaching to. It doesn't matter what you're touching. As long as you're thinking about crunching and crunching. Send a contraction to that muscle. Squeeze and squeeze. Go for eight more. Seven. Stay with me here. Your leg shaking. Three. Nice. Two. And one and one. All right. Shake, shake. Take it wide again. And let's stretch those inner thighs. Mine might be a little extra sore from something else 
I did this week out of this week. I do think it was from that pile class. But, so maybe you don't need this stretch. Take whatever you need. Maybe you do need this stretch. Maybe you piled with me. I don't know. All right, let's take it to the middle. I'm about halfway down. If you're still sort of out of breath like me, stay here. Okay, until your breath gets a little more normal. And then, once you get there, you're more than welcome to drop the head below the heart. Okay? Stretch it here. Leave the hands on the floor or near the floor and heel toe the feet in until they're about hip width apart. We worked our hamstrings quite a bit, the backs of the legs, right? So this is a great stretch for them. When and if you're ready, heel toe all the way together. Makes it a little more challenging, a little more stress on the hamstrings. Tightness behind the knees. Lift those toes, send the weight back into the heels. Chest presses towards the thighs. Oh. All right, hands on the knees, slowly roll it up, tuck and roll. Take your feet wide. We're gonna flat back down. And roll it on up. Two more like that. Take these. Open. Roll. Tuck and roll up. One more. All right. Tuck and roll. All right. So, we didn't do thighs, tries, chest, a lot of core. So we'll come back maybe Friday and do those. Okay, so these will all work good together. Take whatever other stretches you need. I'm gonna take a shower before our 15 minute yoga burst today. Get ready for some yoga heat. We're gonna be up, down. A lot of chaturangas. A lot of arm work. You ready for that? Don't be fooled by the word yoga. All right. I love that you guys stayed with me to the end. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna see you guys at noon.